This is Claire Marshall and I'm doing makeovers in a car and you could be part of it. We're going to pick up Elena. She wants to learn how to do pretty professional makeup for her job interview. Get in. So Elena, what is up? Okay, so I have this very serious job interview and I really need to land the job. What do you typically wear? Uh, I just do light foundation because I have sensitive skin just to co cover the blemishes. I like to keep it really natural. Awesome. Well, I think you're in the right place, so let's get it started. Ah, I feel like the James Bond of makeup. <laughs> so we're gonna start with this foundation. It's really creamy, it's really great, and blends in the skin really well. I'm gonna use this little kind of kabuki brush and just kind of press it into the skin. That sounds like an easy thing for me. Oh yeah, no, it's super simple because you can get a little bit of coverage out of it right away and then just blend it out. It instantly will help cover things without having to pile on products. So next I'm gonna take this creamy concealer stick and just on the areas that the foundation didn't already cover. Now I'm gonna go in and just brighten up a little bit under your eye area. So I'm going to take a little bit of this corrector. So I'm just placing it with the brush to kind of just get the pigment on there, but then you can again use your finger if you wish. I'm going to take this bronzing powder. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and just use a light hand. Just work with the natural contours of your face. Okay, so now that we've brought some shape back into your face, evened out your skin tone, you look great. I'm going to teach you a little bit about what you can do to help define your eyes really simply. Misha, curb, now. Pulling over now. So to start with, I'm going to just add a little more definition to the brows. Your brow is naturally a little fuller right here. So what I did was just combed them through to kind of see where the shape would be. And then I'm gonna take this pencil and then see where your arch naturally is kind of just fill in those gaps with like really fine strokes. And then again with a spoolie, I'm gonna just brush through them. And the thing about brows is they're so important. They really frame your face. So I always find brows to be one of the most important steps. Clean skin and brows, you're good to go. So I'm gonna do one eye and have you watch what I'm doing. And then it'll be up to you to do the other eye. So I'm going to start kind of in the center of the lid. And, and all I'm doing is spreading the product while it's still kind of setting and then bringing it up into the crease. Okay, so here's the stick, I'm handing it over. You look pretty good to me. So I'm just gonna apply some mascara. Sometimes that's really all you need. It just opens up the eyes really well. The so last but not least, let's pop a little color on those lips. And I think you're good. Well, thank you. Be on your way. Oh wait, don't forget your lip color. You'll always have to touch up. Well, thank you. High five. Yeah, go. On to the next one. The key to cooking is using food. Hannah Hart has a refrigerator that looks to be 40% booze and 60% condiments. Curl the lashes. Yeah, this looks great. It's only two colors, so yeah. I can totally do this on my own. Yeah, all about the blending. 